The best or nothing is our philosophy. The passion for safety is our commitment. As you may know, the federal government began placing an emphasis on automotive safety in the late 60s. Mercedes-Benz, on the other hand, has been seriously studying ways of protecting the occupants of our automobiles since the 1930s. Today, our automobiles not only meet all the federal safety requirements, but in some cases, we exceed them. Basically, when we talk about safety, we refer to two types, active and passive. Active safety refers to those features and systems which gives the driver the ability to avoid accidents. Passive safety is the automobile's capacity for protecting the occupants. Let me give you several examples of each, starting with active safety. First, there's the steering and suspension systems which permit the driver to make sharp, evasive maneuvers at high speeds without losing control of the automobile. This is not something you'd want to try in an ordinary car. Second, Mercedes-Benz offers the anti-lock braking system, generally referred to as ABS. This comes standard on all our automobiles with the exception of the 190E 2.3 and 190D 2.5, where it is offered as an attractive option. Now, let me show you a film that explains the system and its benefits to your customers. It's absolutely incredible. I've never experienced anything like this. Going into it at 40, 45 miles an hour, I fully expected to lose control. It was fabulous. I stayed on the brake all the way through the turn. It felt very secure, very controlled. I was amazed. I wish I had it on my car right now, to be very truthful with you. I'd feel a lot safer. At first, you might wonder what all the excitement is about. The driver slams on the brakes, and it comes to a dead stop. It looks easy until you see a competitive car without the anti-lock braking system try the same thing. As soon as the wheels lock up, the driver's lost control. Even in those instances where it's not necessary to come to a full stop, the ABS system helps you maintain control in the turn. Without ABS, your automobile becomes a sled. No matter how hard he tries, with the wheels locked, it's virtually impossible to control the direction of the car. To help you better understand the anti-lock braking system, we set up a test to create a situation in which surface conditions vary on either side of the road. The driver is approaching the skid area at about 45 miles per hour. He hits the brakes and the wheels lock up. Steering control is virtually impossible. Now. Watch the Mercedes-Benz with ABS. Same speed, same conditions. By definition, ABS is a system which electronically prevents the wheels from locking during the braking process. In this side view of the car, you can see ABS in action. As the wheel approaches lockup, the system eases the braking pressure and it starts to rotate again. Should the wheel approach lock up again, the control cycle is repeated. Here are two more examples of ABS performance. Here's a similar test. As you can see, the Mercedes equipped with ABS is able to maintain control and steer the car out the escape port. The anti-lock braking system is a sophisticated piece of engineering that Daimler-Benz began developing as far back as 1959. And while engineers all over the world have praised it as one of the most important contributions to road safety, Possibly no one speaks more eloquently of its performance and benefits than people like yourself. After driving the Mercedes with the ABS on it, uh, I can't say anyone would not want to have a car without that braking system. And the steering was, was precise. It, it went exactly where I wanted to go. It, was, it put me in control. So it's an incredible safety feature as far as I'm concerned. Wouldn't want to drive a car in the snow without it.
my next car will have ABS on it. Uh, I'm certainly glad that the Mercedes, which I just took uh, delivery on, uh, is equipped with the ABS system.